lesson six homework. Use greater than, less than, or equal to to compare the following. 16 and 45 hundredths and 16 and 454 thousandths. I'm going to put these in our place value chart. So we have 16 and 45 hundredths. We're comparing that to 16 and 454 thousandths. Now, what I'm going to do is add a zero in the thousandths place there as my placeholder to make it easier to compare. So what we want to do is start with the greatest place value and compare them. And in this number, the greatest place value you have is the tens place. So the tens place is the same, so that doesn't help us compare them. Those are equal. The ones place, that's the same. The tens place, those are the same. The hundredths place, those are the same. So where they differ is in the thousandths place. The first number has a zero in the thousandths place. The second number has a four in the thousandths place. So this digit this number right here is less than four. Zero is less than four. So we would say 16 and 45 hundredths is less than 16 and 454 thousandths. Letter B, 83 hundredths compared to 83 hundredths. So as you can see, in the tenths place, they are the same. As the hundredths place, they are the same. So these two numbers are equal. C, 205 thousandths. And 205 thousandths. These are tenths place are the same, hundredths are the same, and thousandths are the same. So these are also equal. Okay, D, 95 and 45 thousandths. Compared to 95 and 545 thousandths. The tens place are the same, the ones are the same. The tenths, this is where they're different. The zero is less than five, so we're gonna say 95 and 45 thousandths is less than 95 and 545 thousandths. E, 419 and 10 hundredths compared to 419 and 99 thousandths. Put a zero there as a placeholder. Fours are the same, ones are the same, nines are the same. This is where they're different. The one is greater than zero, so the tenths place is larger, which means 419 and 10 hundredths is greater than 419 and 99 thousandths. You can see five ones and eight tenths. So we have a five in the ones place and eight in the tenths place compared to 58 tenths. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. So 58 tenths, remember a number when you say it, always the last digit ends in the digit, the number that you sang. So we said eight tenths, meaning there's an eight in the tenths place. And then the five, since it's 58, is gonna go right in front of it. So it's really five and eight tenths. So these two are equal. And G, 36 and nine thousandths. So I'm gonna put 36 in here. And then a nine in the thousandths place. So I'll fill in the zeros compared to four tens. So there's a four in the tens place, which makes it 40. So right off the bat here in the tens place, they're different. The three is less than four. So 36 and nine thousandths is less than four tens or 40. H, 104 and 12 hundredths. So we have 104 and 12 hundredths compared to 104 and 2 thousandths. So 104 and 12 hundredths, the ones are the same, the zeros are the same, the fours are the same. This is where they're different. The one is greater than zero, so we would say it is 
greater than 104 and 12 hundredths is greater than 104 and 2 thousandths. 158 thousandths, so 158 thousandths would be right here, ends in the thousandths place, and 58 hundredths. One and five are different. The one is less than five, so we're gonna say 158 thousandths is less than 58 hundredths. And the last one, 703 and 500 thousandths. Compared to 703 and 500. Hundreds place is the same, tens place is the same, three ones place is the same, tenths place is the same, the hundredths is where they're different. The zero is less than five, so this is less than 703 and five hundredths. Okay, number two, arrange the numbers in increasing order. So what I'm gonna do is put them all in the place value chart. So we have eight and eight hundredths. and eight and 81 thousandths, eight and nine hundredths, and eight and eight thousandths. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the place values there. Uh, zeros for the placeholders. Now in the ones place, they're all the same. In the tens place, they're all the same. Here in the hundreds place, this is where they start to differ. So if we're arranging them in increasing order, that means that the smallest number is going to be first. So here, if we're comparing eight, eight, and nine, eight, eight, nine, and zero, the zero is the smallest. So this would be our first number. So I'm gonna put a one by there. So eight and eight thousandths is our first number. Next, so I'm gonna get rid of that one we need to compare these two eights. So these two eights are the next smallest digits. Since they are the same, we kind of need to go to the tiebreaker and look at what's next door. So the next smallest would be this zero right here. So this would be the next smallest. So eight and eight hundredths. And then next we would have eight and 81 thousandths. And then the last and largest number would be eight and nine hundredths. Okay, part B. Again, I'm gonna put them all into the place value chart. 14 and 204 thousandths. Compared to 14 and 200 thousandths. 14 and 240 thousandths. and 14 and 210 thousandths. Tens places are all the same, ones places are all the same, tenths places are all the same. Here is where they're different. So increasing order, we're starting with the smallest first. The smallest would be these two zeros. So we need to go to the tiebreaker, the thousandths place. The zero in the thousandths place is the smallest. So this is going to be our first number. This will be our second number. And then we go back to the hundredths place. This one is smaller than the four. So this will be the third number. And this is the largest number. So we just need to put those in order. So our smallest was 14 and 200 thousandths. Next was 14 and 204 thousandths. Then we had 14 and 210 thousandths. And lastly, it's 14 and 240 thousandths. All right, number three, we're arranging them in decreasing order. So let's write them all in, eight and 508 thousandths, eight and 58 hundredths. I'll just go ahead and put a zero there. For comparison, seven and five tenths, I'll fill in my placeholders, seven and 58 thousandths, okay. So, decreasing order, meaning we're gonna start with the greatest digit number this time. So, our greatest one in the ones place, these two are going to be our two largest because they're eight 
which is larger than seven. So then we'll move on to the tenths place to compare them. They both have fives. Here is where they're different. The eight is larger than the zero, so this is going to be our largest, second largest. Now we'll compare the sevens. So they both have seven there. So this will be the smallest one. Five is greater than zero. So this will be third and the smallest right here. Seven and 58 thousandths. So we have eight and 58 hundredths as our largest. Next is eight and 508 thousandths. Next is seven and five tenths. And then seven and five hundredths. 58 thousandths. Okay. Letter B. Write them all in your place value chart. 439, 216 thousandths, 439, 126 thousandths, 439, 612 thousandths and 439, 261 thousandths. All right, all the hundreds are the same, all the tens are the same, all the ones are the same. The tens place is where we're going to start. So again, we're looking for the largest number because we're putting them in decreasing order. So the largest, if we're comparing 2, 2, 6, and 2, 2, 1, 6, and 2 would be this one. So this is our largest because 6 is greater than all those digits. Next, we have two, two, and one. Well, the, these two twos are the next largest, but they're tied, so we need to move on to the hundredths place. So we're comparing the one and the six. So the six is larger, so this is our second largest. This will be our third largest, and the smallest is this one with the one in the tenths place. So we have 439, and 612 thousandths, and we have 439 and 261 thousandths, 439 and 216 thousandths, and lastly 439 and 126 thousandths. James measured his hand. It was 17 hundredths of a meter. Jennifer measured her hand, it was 165 thousandths meter. Whose hand is bigger, how do you know? Well, let's put them in our place value chart. So we have James, his was 17 hundredths meter. And then we have Jennifer, hers was 165 thousandths. Well, they're the same in the ones place, zeros, same in the tenths. Here's where they're different. Seven is larger than six, so James' hand was larger. So we can say James' hand is bigger. And you could draw this place value chart right below here to show why. In a paper airplane contest, Marcel's plane travels three and 345 thousandths meters. So let's put that in our place value chart. Here's Marcel. His, tra three, his travels three and 345 thousandths. Then we have Salvador's plane, travels three and 35 hundredths. We have Jennifer's plane, travels three and three tenths meters. Based on the measurements, whose plane traveled the furthest distance, whose traveled the shortest distance. So it wants you to explain using your place value chart. So if I were you, I'd draw a place value chart right down here, just like I have to the left. And the ones place, all the same. Tenths place, all the same. I'm going to add my placeholders in here just to make it easier to compare. So it's asking the farthest distance, that would be the biggest number. So the farthest distance is going to be Salvador, because 5 is larger than 4 and 0. So we would say Salvador was furthest. And 
and then Marcel would be in the middle next travel with a four and the shortest distance is Jennifer because the zero is smaller than the four and the five in the hundredth place so we'll say Jennifer had the shortest distance 